In 2050, damp and cold London will be hot and dry like Barcelona, and Seattle will be the new San Francisco. If you're living in one of these cities, that really doesn't sound too bad. Bring on climate change! No wait, you forgot about everyone else. The three main climate change problems people encounter today are droughts and heat waves, rising sea levels and flooding, and air pollution. The worst affected areas in the world, such as India, have multiple climate change hardships affecting them throughout the year. This is a true testament to human hard-headedness, as more and more people choose to live in climates that are becoming less and less hospitable to them. Let's now explore the regions most likely to be affected by climate change in drastic and negative ways, starting with heat waves. Currently, 30% of the world's population is exposed to deadly heat for 20 days per year or more. The first hotspot is the Persian Gulf. By the end of this century, areas of the Persian Gulf could be hit by waves of heat and humidity so severe that simply being outside for several hours could be life-threatening. UAE and Dubai are at particular risk of this. By 2070, Abu Dhabi is expected to reach 52 Celsius on a regular basis. Many cities on the Persian Gulf Coast could be essentially uninhabitable by the end of the century, especially for those who are unable to afford air conditioning. Australia Recently, more than 206 climate records were broken across Australia, including record high summer temperatures, record low rainfall, and record high temperatures across states and territories. This is according to a report done by Climate Council of Australia. Major capital cities like Sydney and Melbourne are said to record 50 Celsius summer days as the norm by the end of the century. Of course, this does not even touch on the hardships people will experience in the outback. India India saw the temperatures predicted to arrive in Australia last year. With the summer of 2019 breaking records around the world, India experienced its second longest heat wave, with temperatures reaching over 50 Celsius. Churu in Rajasthan was the hottest recorded place, with a high of 50.8 degrees Celsius. Climate Impact Lab with the University of Chicago estimates the combination of hotter summers and more high heat days will contribute to more than 1.5 million deaths each year by 2100, especially if climate and CO2 emissions are not decreased. Flooding and sea level rise East Asian countries are the ones most affected by potential sea level rise. One of the first major population hubs that doesn't come to mind when you think about flooding is Osaka in Japan. Image modeling shows that swaths of Osaka, the commercial heart of the region whose GDP is almost as big as that of the Netherlands, would disappear. Luckily, Japan may be able to prevent the worst through its investments in defensive barriers and flood relief infrastructure. Rio de Janeiro The climate scenario projected for the city of Rio is the worst in Latin America. It is not just the loss of beautiful beaches that is of concern there, but the fact that the Brazilian government is incapable of making any decisive action to address the situation. Shanghai, China When it comes to flooding, this coastal city is one of the world's most vulnerable. Now one of the world's biggest ports, the former fishing village is bordered by the Yangtze River in the north and divided through the middle by the Huangpu River. The municipality involves several islands, two long coastlines, shipping ports and miles of canals, rivers and waterways. In 2012, a report from a team of UK and Dutch scientists declared Shanghai the most vulnerable major city in the world to serious flooding, based on factors such as numbers of people living close to the coastline, time needed to recover from flooding, and measures to prevent flood water. According to Climate Central projections, 17.5 million people could be displaced by rising waters 
if global temperatures increase by 3 degrees. Miami and New Orleans Unless Miami is able to prepare adequately, it will not be able to deal with a sea level rise of up to 1.8 meters, and New Orleans even less so. The state of Florida has proposed building a wall along the seacoast in order to prevent serious damage, which would cost $75 million. With a hypothetical 3 Celsius global temperature rise, Florida as we know it simply does not exist as it is submerged underwater, and the residents are rightfully worried. Air pollution and lack of breathable air Climate change is set to increase the amount of fine particle pollution we breathe, which leads to lung disease, heart conditions and stroke. Less rain and more heat means this pollution will stay in the air for longer, creating more health problems. All regions except Africa will have more premature deaths because of air pollution, but the worst affected zones will be in India and East Asia. Out of the top 10 most polluted cities in the world, 9 are from India. Many cities in Pakistan also make the top 20, and of course, China. While on average, China's air quality is not as bad as India or Pakistan's, it tops the list of the most number of cities with poor air quality having 23 of its cities in the top 50. The country that stands to lose the most due to climate change is clearly India, with a relatively poor population that is extremely vulnerable, worst air quality in the world, and with scorchingly high temperatures that are set to increase. India has a major problem. Many argue that this century will belong to India, with its ever-increasing population and GDP growth, but considering the grim climate outlook, that seems somewhat less likely. Hey, thanks for watching. So yeah, this is obviously a pretty massive topic and um, I've barely scratched the surface of the scope of the issue. Um, it's a very global problem. So for example, here's a list of all the cities that are going to be most affected by flooding by 2070. It is clearly a problem for everyone and most definitely a problem for India. A lot of the things that I talked about in this video are pretty new to me. So if you could comment in the comment section about what you learned and what's new to you, that I would really appreciate that to feel better about my ignorance. But um, anyways, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe and wait for the next video. See you later. Geo Perspective out.